But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Came back at all. Not all of us did. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? How much would it cost me to hire this ship? The harmony of nations ain't for hire. Ship's owners got plans for it. There anyone in Novigrad who'll take me to Skellige? <laughs> you mean anyone here off their gourd? Aye, Wolverston. Goes by the name of Flask. Ask at the Golden Sturgeon. Man's a sheep bugger, like the Skelligers. Sure they get along great. safe at night. Fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, Captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Gotta get more coin. You sure do, for I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Human, are you? Look for your kind beyond the walls. How long that will take? No, I don't give a fuck. There's no use. We'll keep some coin too. Pam, 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 
One glance and the crowns will leap from your purse. Let me see what you're offering. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
How can I? Got you. Washed your hair lately. Last chance to surrender on orthodox books. The thinking customer will see right away up the best deal with this side of the pond. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? So long. Greetings. Show me your wares. So long. Goodness. Welcome. What have you got there? So long. Hey! You seen the new wake up scene? Smooth my belly worth seeing. Eternal fire, how it hurts. Oh, my God. 
bucks of lasses from the land already taken by Nilf. Ah, you do well not to pester folk. I serve the eternal fire. Why you are so strange? I've been cranky since morning. If you ate onions and all. Sort of. Hey! Name's Geralt. Patty Gruber. I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last! Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt! Fight! Today will bite it tomorrow. What? Lost your nerve? Time to end this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. The man who dethroned Archibald O'Neill. Bravo to Geralt, a beautiful bout. Want to be crowned the best in Novigrad. Who do I gotta fight? You two are the local champions to choose from. Pile Driver and Captain Mortimer of the Temple Guard. And here's your prize. Open up. Mm. What are you offering?
See you. Oh, terrible times. What do you seek, pain giver? Ooh. Oh. Welcome, welcome. What have you got there? So long. You need something sharpened, reforged. What do you have on offer? So long. I find nothing. I was right. I missed it last night. Had never stood out. I'm warning you. Endless. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please! This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, 
George's George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Oh. To the freak! Oh. Oh. Fucking come on! Shut up and fight. Sit, you're in for it! Our winner and the tavern's new champion is... The Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. What'll it be? What are you serving? Farewell. Racial hygiene's as poor as them. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Let me have a look. I call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. This is a misunderstanding. But fine, take them. Though I'll need a receipt. Wouldn't want to lose anything. Yeah, drawn it up for you now. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites.
this city. Rachel hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene. Oh, fuck. I'm Geralt of Rivia. It matters not what you're called, it matters not where you're from. What matters is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer. I'm ready. Let's do this. Fight! Troops! Here now! Redania! Rivia dethrones Captain Mortimer! Behold your prize, champion! You have earned the honor to challenge Novigrad's champion, Durden the Tailor. You will find him in far corners and fight there as well after sundown. Already dependent on the Black Ones. Economic. Which is good for the like necrophages. Vile in appearance and reeking of dead men's Come, Geralt. been expecting you. We're already taking bets. You've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found scrawny. In what world could you possibly defeat me? The newcomer may seem all skin and bones, but remember, he defeated the sergeant to the bloody Baron of Velen. Came here to fight the tailor, so let's do this. Novagraders, one and all, a momentous occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. Oh, 
Take a good look in the mirror. You'll see your all new face, courtesy of the tailor. Let it be known that Durden has won the bout and retained the title of Champion of Novigrad. The legends of the Not with you. You'll square your kidneys. Sticks of burnt flesh. Can they not burn those fires beyond the city walls? Guards! Witcher. Hear about the White Lady. As I hoped. I notice it's been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Managed to decipher it somehow, but I need more information. Ask away. Afraid to go out in the fields anyway for fear of ending up like Miko and his band. Miko and his band, who are they? Four lads, drunkards and good for nothing at all. They drained a few pints and decided they'd all plow the white lady. Maybe then she'd bugger off. Romantics. Hmm. Seems the white lady spurned their advances. They still lie in the field. Folk are afraid to bury him. So the white lady haunts your fields? True. Just past the hut near the old tower. Folk say she's made her home there. So, will you save us from her? White Lady can wait. Let's talk about my pay first. Oh, so be it. I can toss in that bit. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Using more effective means than brave Miko. That's it, Roach. Come on now. Dried blood. Really old. The singeing, on the other hand, is fresh. Unnatural. Medallion vibrates near it. Whatever he saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Expected to see four bodies. Hard-headed men. Deep, uneven tracks. Someone fled blindly, in a panic. Ought to explore the tower. Trail leads to the cellar. Ghouls dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale, cracked. Hmm. All signs point to a noon wraith. She's avoiding me. Better find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. Not so fast, Roach. Oh, Roach, it's my 
Greetings, Witcher. Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means God's poor Lucy. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure, but older and more brittle than elven ruins. Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields. Where she slashed her veins. Used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. Let me show you. Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it. Bury it, even. They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. It's not safe to go out in the streets anymore. Faster. Dance. Greetings, Witcher. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you.
Come on, Roach. Greetings, Master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my store. All right, so what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So. Will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. Fine negotiation on your part, master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. Relax, I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. My, what a freak. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Oi, beware the gutters. What you got there? A dried mushroom set. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Another track. There's bull eats, goat heads, penny buns, no magic mushrooms, but uh, just our own, you know, for ordinary I folk. highly recommend you visit. Uh, mm. I'm loitering round here. Oh, ah, oh, oh, like a miller's son. Uh, children, gather round. Fall upon your knees before... Trail ends here. Paw prints end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? Wide open. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. A Doppler. Explains a lot. And complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down.
woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes, but only one bed. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. That's all I have. I'd a loaf of bread too, but I'll drop it. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the Eternal Fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me, for no reason at all. You's a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. <sighs> Always the same old shit. This comes so in time. Hey, wait. Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Not your lucky day. Might be able to look like a witcher, but that won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. I know, but I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Enough. Leave him alone. Oi, you a non-humanophile, is that it? If there's one thing I hate, it's to repeat myself. Leave him be. Hey, lads! Got one eager for a lick in here. Let's show him what happens to freak lovers in Novigrad. Thank you, Vatgern. If you hadn't intervened, they'd have snipped my ears like they did Phalar's. Or worse. I'd leave Novigrad if I were you. How about that? Non-humans bother you as well? Me? No. The Eternal Fire, yes. They've got other scapegoats to burn right now, but it won't be long before they come for you. I don't believe they will. They'd not dare go that far. I was in Rivia in 1268, during the massacre. Know exactly what I'm talking about. Take care of yourselves now. Meaning? 
What would you have me do? Never leave my home? Step off the pavement to let a human pass? Farewell. My man carries his pitchfork like you, on his back. I say you're both daft. Sell them at market. Sick of magic ones. <laughs> Greetings, master. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. There better be one. Or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more, and I'll not do business with you again. Good fight! Ah. Ah. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Yes. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Farewell.
Greetings! Wouldn't mind a look at your stock.
But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Ooh, move it! Wolfie? Oh, Wolfie? Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Hmm. you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? We can. Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon. But the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Hmm. A place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. A place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but... That is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of... others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. All right. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. <laughs> I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. Oh, Grace, what 
style. Greetings. Fancy a hop back to my place? Mmm. Fancy a hop back to my place? Mmm. I'm new to this too. Took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. Heh. <laughs> you really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in Novograd. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> What? Playing tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee-haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You would likely to advance that far, mutant. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By closed, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered, the tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Feathermans. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and <laughs> Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. <laughs> 